So let's talk about endometriosis. This is something which, in fact, women usually don't discover that they have until later on, which sounds a bit of a paradox, because in fact they've probably had endometriosis since their younger years, but they don't realise that there's anything abnormal about their symptoms, because most of the symptoms are to do with having painful periods, sometimes heavier periods, but because endometriosis often runs in families, they will have seen their mother have painful periods or their older sisters have painful periods. And it's not until they start comparing themselves with other people at school or other people in the workplace that they may realise that in fact their painful periods, which are stopping them doing things for three or four days a month, are not necessarily normal. So what is endometriosis? Well, it's where the womb lining tissue is somewhere outside the womb. So little cells of womb lining tissue are in the pelvis, around the womb, around the ovaries, around the bowel or the bladder. And during each menstrual cycle, the womb lining tissue changes and thickens and then bleeds. And that not only happens in the womb itself, but in the little patches of tissue outside the womb. And that, of course, causes pain and gradually over time can also cause fibrosis and adhesions, so some of the organs inside the pelvis begin to stick together. So it's obvious that women will experience pain, not only during their period, but sometimes, for instance, even if they're trying to open their bowels or even when they're trying to urinate. So all of these things are not necessarily normal. And when a woman does come and ask for help, it's important that all of this is explained and that she knows there are lots of things that can be done to ease the discomfort and the pain and to slow down the progression of endometriosis itself. Because unfortunately, one of the things that can happen as women reach their 30s and into their mid-30s is if they've had endometriosis for a while, those little patches of womb lining tissue and the adhesions can start to impinge on the tubes themselves and therefore possibly on a woman's ability to become pregnant when she wants to. So it's important that if a woman does have very painful periods, a lot of pain during sex, some pelvic pain between times, that she doesn't just accept that this is okay, that she goes and asks someone about normality and whether this might be an abnormality in the sense it's something we could do something to help her with, especially to try and preserve her fertility, and also that she can have a really good quality of life and enjoy those years.